today's business is just going to be washing the car, which is pretty exciting. This thing has been sitting for a matter of years, so it's going to get nice and clean. Or at least clean enough. Something like that. Anyways, let's go do it. I just finished washing the car for the first time so it's kind of exciting to really get a first look at it and see really what I got myself into uh, all right let's do it uh, it's shiny I mean there's no dirt all over it this is an aftermarket paint job there is some rust some random nicks and dings along the way there's a lot of these from bug hits and who knows what rock chips there is one little ding here one dent. Uh, overall, the car is very straight. I don't really know too many dents. I mean, that's probably one of the bigger ones. This side's not bad. That's good side. It's got little tiny things like that, but those are now rusted. Little tiny little rust spots. This is a kind of an interesting place here. We have all this weird bluing. As you can see, it's super blue. Supposedly, that might just buff out. If we put some wax or some polish on there or something, I don't know. It should come out. I'm not going to do that anytime soon. But it looks like it's the whole panel there. The whole fender or whatever. Then we have some speckling here. But overall... No real dents on this side at all. We have some rust here. And here is one of actually the dents on the roof. Might be able to just push that back out. This is a little smaller one. I don't know if you can see that. There is uh, some, some lines from the roof rack. I may put that back on. I do have it. There are some plugs. And this, this is just glue right here, so that'll peel off one of these days once I get around to it. The roof isn't too bad. Just that ghosting. Here's the back. Back is good. Got some mismatched taillights. Fading bumper. Might need some of that forever black from IPD. And this side we do have some fading, some cloudiness, but it is not as bad as that blue stuff on the other side. Here's probably our biggest spot of paint missing. Couple spots missing there above the wheel. And here's some by the door where we're missing paint and also a little bit of rust. And that's kind of it. There are a couple trim pieces missing. Kind of got to mess with this thing here. I mean, stuff like that. Super easy. That's definitely like last on the list, though. That's definitely not a uh, definitely not high up there on the priority list. 
Okay, so the next order of business is to figure out what the next order of business is. Um, I'm not just going to start going into any projects on this. Again, this is just a long-term, like long-term project for me, so I want to be pretty methodical about it. Um, so I think next I will probably continue the detailing, or at least should continue the initial cleaning, and extend that to the interior. So you know, vacuum carpets, and I think I'm going to actually remove the carpets, remove the back seat, and then I can kind of get a look at what's going on with the floors, and because I, th I think there's some rust there too. Um, but then I'm going to probably make a list, start making my list of what I want, what I need to do, uh, the priorities of, of uh, repairs, maintenance, and, you know, kind of kind of get an idea of that. But that will allow me to stay on track, not just chase things, because I was already looking at, like, a set of, set of wheels, and I haven't even, you know, gotten this to where I'm driving it daily yet, so, or at least driving it on weekends or something, so. Uh, priorities, needs, wants, um, just kind of get an idea about it, but super happy that I have it. It's uh, it's fun to just own this because again, it was my dream car, and now you know now I can dream about it and live it. Thanks for watching.